Hey guys, Fernal the Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series of tutorials called Redstone Tutorials. This is going to be a series to um, introduce a tutorial, um, well, a tutorial bunch that's going to oh cactus that's going to happen on my channel. I'm planning to do some tutorials on random Minecraft stuff on my channel. So, um, yeah. If there's any like blocks or mods or something that I can do that um, I can give tutorials on, I'm planning to do that. So, but I'm planning on with this series, I'm going to do a um, redstone tutorial because redstone is one of those things in Minecraft where you either understand it or you don't. And depending on how you understand it, you can either build with it or you can't. So, yeah. So we're just going to um, go ahead and start with a redstone tutorial and I'm gonna break it down as much as I can through the basics so that way you don't have to, so that way not one chapter or one video is not going to contain so much information and if you only want information for a particular thing you can only go to that one chapter so like for this chapter I'm gonna break down the ore to its very basics and for future chapters I'm gonna break down only for crafting recipes usage of redstone, usage of the redstone's tools, transportations, and ever, all that jazz. So let's get started. So here we have the basic redstone ore. It pretty much looks like coal, iron, diamond, or all those fancy stuff except it's red. If you hit, touch it, it gives a particle effect and it glows. Um, we'll get back to that glowing thing here in a second. But anyhow, it can only be broken up by a um, iron grade pickaxe or higher. Using anything lower will gen generally not work. And I think on average it drops for redstone. That's just a guess. I actually didn't look it up. The last few times I've broken it, I've got five. So I actually think five is the better average for it. But in here, and apparently it's already been activated. But in here you can see the glowing effect. It's completely dark in here. I'll show you here in a second. I'll just mine this up. But um, whenever you jump on it or punch it, it glows. Yeah, I just stopped, and you can see how dark it is. But yeah, if you just jump on top of it, it gives it a glowing effect, and it lasts for quite a while, actually. Um, possibly a full minute, maybe even longer. Um, I guess it depends on the glowstone. I'm just, but I'm just saying, if you just stand here watching it glow and then turn off and then try to get it glowing again, you're going to be wasting a lot of your Minecraft time. That's a lot of the time for a creeper to come ambush you. Anyway, when redstone is placed, it, it um, well, it just comes out as a dot. Just a dot. Oop. A dot. As you can see, when you break redstone ore, and I forgot to mention this, you get redstone dust. Or it's just re referred to as redstone. But that's pretty much what it looks like when you plop it down. Um, it could look like blood if you're not careful. But yeah, it's just a blop on the ground. And when you connect them, they become. Uh, they. Well, they. Corners look like that blop again, but when you. But when you're just, they're just going in a direction, they look like a line, kind of. We refer to this as redstone wire, and redstone wire is actually capable of carrying a charge. It is like the electricity of Minecraft, basically. And if you and if you put a power source, you can actually activate the redstone wire and power items such as this piston. Breaking the power source, the wire turns off and the piston goes back to closed position. Over here what I've got set up is um, basically a charge um, counter. We're measuring how much one redstone wire can, how much charge one redstone wire can carry and I'm going by um, block units. So I, we can say like this is 20, like this is the 20th unit so we can say this goes up to um, 20 power units. So, uh, there's no there's no real way for me to judge actually judge how much, but let's just flip this on. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way up to 20. Where does it stop? It stops at 15. 
So redstone wire can only carry a charge up to 15 blocks. So it has a 15 block power charge. Oh. After that, it's dead. Over here, I just want to point out that um, although redstone can be placed on um, ground solid blocks, it cannot be placed on transparent blocks. Um, but it does have this weird effect with transparent blocks that I'll have to get onto in a later chapter. But just know you cannot place redstone blocks on a transparent block. There's just no way around it. Also with redstone, um, although they may appear solid, um, they are actually very easy to remove. Um, by that I mean like, um, the environment can replace them quite easily. If you just put down water, it removes redstone and all of the products it can um, produce. So you can't rely on redstone to be durable if, in case of like a house flood or something. If you're going to create this elaborate contra contraption, and you want to keep it protected and you want it to work but you, you might want to keep it protected so that it doesn't um, come apart on you. Over here I've got, uh, well I'm showing where to charge when, you, when redstone is powered I am showing where the charge is, well ugh. this is where the charge powers each of these yellow blocks resembles where the charge will go when redstone when redstone is charged. So the block below the redstone would become would be powered, and we can get to that in a better detail later. And as you can tell, I have to use yellow wool instead of these stained glasses because I cannot put redstone on transparent blocks. But um, redstone can also power any blocks um, next to it. It cannot power diangular blocks, however. So you can't put redstone here and expect it to power something right where I'm standing. It has to be powered by blocks directly next to it by a grid. Here is a way is a fancy way to store redstone. You can power you in the crafting table you can put on um, nine redstone dust or just plain old redstone depends on how you refer it to as and it will produce a redstone block now here's the fancy thing about a redstone block um I think I, I'm not sure when it came in to Minecraft but um it I thought I for I first thought it was originally designed as a storage unit as like diamond blocks and gold blocks to just contain nine redstone as an easier access and you break it and you get nine redstone back however um it's also although redstone can only carry a charge and cannot produce a charge redstone blocks are capable of producing a charge and I'll get to that here in a second but um redstone can only carry a charge as you can see way back over here it can't, it can't, by itself, it cannot move a piston, but, and we might as well get to it, and just let me set this time so it's not going to go dark on us, but, um, over here, I've shown, I got a block of redstone, and it's able to power the piston by itself. The piston has been activated because the block itself contains power. And the block, because the block itself contains power, it's able to activate redstone that's not powered to, and is able to power it to um, activate the piston. So, somehow, I don't even know how it works, but something that's not powered on its own, when mixed together with itself, produces a block that is already self-powered. That's Kind of interesting if you think about that. So anyway guys, that was the first chapter in the redstone tutorials. And so oh, there's a temple behind me. Can't see that. I might need to do my next chapter in the temple. Whoa. Um anyhow, so if you guys enjoyed this um chapter, please leave a like. Um subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate new subscribers. 
and um, any comments that you guys can think of that can help me improve my videos or just any or just comments saying you love me that would be much appreciated I enjoy reading comments I don't care what type of comments they are I don't care if they're criticism or whatever um yeah and this should sum up chapter one next I think the next chapter is crafting recipes with redstone so that should be interesting yeah so yeah oh and it, also if you guys have any ideas for any future tutorials um not including redstone because I'm going to cover everything I can with redstone but like if you have a certain mod or something that you want me to do um let, leave it down in the comment section below and I can see if I can um help cover it or uh, if you have any questions um comment it and I'll see if I can get to it anytime soon. Alright, I think that's it, guys. Bye-bye.